So that's, uh, well, you could tell it's about uh, bipolar. Um, one of the reasons I uh, wanted to name my album Anxiety was because um, I, I think we're all in a state of anxiety. The world is in anxiety. I mean, the world is trembling. I mean, we're seeing things at an unprecedented level. Um, various Aboriginal groups have warned about the amount of fracking that we're doing and the amount of oil that we take from outside the earth because when we take stuff out, things have to move to fill it back in. Um, there are all kinds of things. There are people I don't think I've met Maybe in Paris you have. I don't think I've met a non-anxious non, non person. I work with about 100 students uh, every year, and I don't think I've ever met one who isn't anxious. Not to mention the administrators. They're like, hoo, 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 hoo. Um, So I think, you know, poor people are anxious because they can't make ends meet. It's simple. You know, their hope for the children die at the door of opportunity. Um, rich people are anxious, um, especially the 1%, because they know that it's immoral to hold on to all that wealth that belongs to our common heritage on this earth, and that in fact, if we don't come after it, our children will. We're going to have to find a way, because we have to redress that situation, or we'll be back as slaves again. And we're almost slaves. I mean, I don't know again in Paris, but in Toronto, I couldn't afford the place I have now. I couldn't afford to buy a house now. And it's getting that way everywhere. You can't. And when you do something, you make a move in your life, then you have to work constantly. So it's a different level of slavery. Whether you like your job or not, you're, you're tied up into all this. Um, the one thing Karl, Karl Marx never talked about was the credit system. They invented that. And once they invented that, they could repair capitalism and keep it going indefinitely till we, and we are gonna figure out a way that we are gonna squash that. Maybe, maybe we have to get some of the scientists among us to build giant magnets so and just walk by the banks and just erase it by the visa bill or something like that. You know, but we're gonna have to think of something, really. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta pull it aside. So, um, I just, well, I, you know, I, I, in another life I worked as a legal worker and uh, I was going through a nervous breakdown, but I didn't even know it was a nervous breakdown. If I knew it was a nervous breakdown, I would have just had it and take the time out, which I would do now. I'm having a nervous breakdown, people. Leave me alone. <laughs> but then I just didn't know and I just kept working and pushing and getting more and more anxious. I just wanted to capture that sense. I wanted to give voice to some of these things that we feel and we're ashamed of. Or we don't want to dialogue about it because we think it happens to us alone. And I think especially as women with the double, triple burdens and the burdens on top of burdens, we need to just vent and express. And as they have a saying in Jamaica, they say, who don't like it, bite it. <laughs> <laughs> the pattern of legs on the tablecloth could hold her gaze for many a day. She found its thread, intricate lead, trapped in a web, in the swirling of her coffee, in the swirling of her coffee. In the swirling of her coffee. <laughs> Memories are trapped, dreams run free. She plays with a pattern rim of gold, empty cup, the spoon, charm, and chicken. She stares, breaks the silence in her apartment. Apartment. <laughs> the world went down inside her head and tried. She made she could never pluck herself away. The more she thinks, the less she feels. Her mountain fury races a place she'll arrive at, arrive at. <sighs> 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 
She walks to the closet, opens the door, stares at the mings she once wore in those nights called Remember, Remember. And her favorite song is a tune called Forget on the tip of her lips waiting to be expressed. A world so delicately held, an emotionless spell, and all could disappear in a flash. <laughs> Memories are trapped, dreams run free in an absurdity. In the swirling of her coffee, in the swirling of her coffee, in the swirling of her coffee. A woman stirs her coffee in the chiming of the spoon, the whirl of the moon, the stillness of her thoughts so delicately held. <laughs> No one wants her scream, no rescue team pluck her from her pallet dream. <gasps> Memories are trapped, dreams run free in an absurdity. <sighs> in the swirling of her coffee, in the swirling of her coffee, in the swirling of her coffee, in the swirling of her